In this short video, I'll be introducing an equation that will help us calculate the molar mass of a gas using the ideal gas law. So here's the ideal gas law, PV equals nRT. Let's just say for a moment we take mass divided by molar mass. You know that mass is measured in grams, and you know that molar mass is grams per mole. Now what can we cancel out here? Well you remember from math class um, that we can take the reciprocal of this and multiply it. So instead of grams per mole, let's multiply by moles per gram. And of course you can see that grams cancel out. So the only thing we're left with is simply moles. So it turns out we can um, take mass divided by molar mass, and we can insert that in place of n, which is moles, because mass divided by molar mass, as we just saw the algebra here, actually is equal to moles. So let's rewrite the ideal gas law, but in place of n, let's put mass divided by molar mass, because once again, mass divided by molar mass equals moles. So we can use this equation to help us calculate the molar mass of a gas.